Hello and welcome back everyone, I am Manic Mink, this is StarCraft 2. When we last left off, we were in orbit above the Taldarim world. We're going to perform a ritual of some sort, and challenge this rock sheer. challenge to somebody to combat. combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. Okay. Let's go to the War Council. Hierarch, my scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. Thank you. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies, aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending a cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. Hmm, okay. That's not what I want. I wanted Solar Core. Entire Adun, Artanis. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kali designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. An unallocated solarite. I can't really allocate anything. So, we go to the mission. Some sort of defense mission, I bet. Nope. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed. As the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. One of the guardians while the Terrazine fog is active. Complete the mission before the fourth fog cycle begins. Okay. Let us do that then. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done. Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. The Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faze Smith. We will make good use of them. Transmit. You have not enough minerals. So 
that'll be 15. The veil between this world and the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. So just want to make sort of as many uh, fill up on workers here, because that will be phase crystals job. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, Twenty, twenty-one, two, twenty-three, twenty-four. You have not enough minerals. I stand this scorier awakens. Stand watch over the shrines. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. You have not enough minerals. Come on, give me enough minerals. to scan the Taldarim motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. You have not ah, I need 250 for that. Okay. That is a mothership there, yes. Zach Naku died. I am command me. Channel the light of I this guy. Input command. Kasar Datum. Zach Naku. Let's see if we can kill this here. Systems at full. Under cool rock. Processed. Ik kuda anai. 
Okay, so we have to... Kill that thing somehow. Well, I know how, we just need more... More resources, basically. If I just build enough of these things, let's actually head up here and we'll try and kill one of these things. The fog gathers, Artanis. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. Protocols aligned. Ulos. You have not enough minerals. Protocols aligned. them. I like this guy. He's in, he's humorous. Behold the strength 
of the Chosen! We have destroyed a Taldarine mothership. Excellent. Only one remains. Taldarine ships are heading towards our Nexus, Hierarch. Bring them down! So you... Listening. Face crystals charged. Just wait for them to come in here. Head back up this way. Zaknaku, we are at full power. Prismatic core online. And I'll command me. So let's go over this way and kill this other mothership. You must construct additional pylons. You should have everything now, Facemith. Thank you, Hierarch. I shudder to think of what they were planning to do with it. You guys are upgrading. You are upgrading we as well. And now we just continue to build more void rays, basically. You must construct additional pylons. Annihilation commencing. Upgrade complete. Systems at full. It shall be done. It can be done. Process. The fog gathers, Artanas. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. Shall be done. Protocols 
Guys are doing that. Let's, uh... Okay, let's warp you guys back here. Commencing. You must construct additional pylons. Systems at full. All right, and then the last one. Let's fly up there and kill this. Should be relatively easy to do this with this many void rays for sure. did actually you go to your death alarak the dark god will destroy you i have heard enough of his lies all right your ritual is complete what now well they were not part of the ritual but these traitors would have aided Malash in it, and I wish to see them die. 
kind of just playing that song. Is come. High Lord, hear me. I invoke the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward. We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. Hmm. Which probably means there's another mission, isn't there? Yeah. Definitely another mission, I'm sure. Because it'll be the either we have to kill him or we have to help kill him or... I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh, yes. I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Talgarim have no collar for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. Mm, he's a bit. He's a bit the of a spear of that scumbag. Has finished replicating a new combat unit. You can assign it to a faction now if you wish. Okay, so let's talk Malash about him. has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this rite? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Leave me. It is time to make preparations. Okay, sure. Um... Let's go here. First things first, let's take a look. The assault ships are now ready for your inspection. So Sentry has uh, Havoc. Increases damage dealt to enemy units, boosts attack range of friendly units, force field blocks enemy unit movements, cannot attack. So it's a marker target. I'll stick with what I got. Uh, and the assault ship, Void Rays. Uh, deals increasing damage from the longer range as it continues to attack. Uh, deals bonus damage to armored units. Uh, enhance the range of the Void Ray's new Solarite lenses. Allow the Void Ray to remain focused at longer distance. Uh, yeah, basically it's longer distance. Uh, deals damage to additional targets as it continues to attack. Deals bonus damage to armored units. This is what I'm going for. Well, modified by the Taldarim destroyers, not possess prismatic core. Resonating blood shark crystal screen, unstable beam that arcs from one target to another. So if we get enough of those, that should destroy everything nearby. Let's have our conversation this now. This chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's shadow walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon them. Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy. 
servant to master, a constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. Suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as cruel. It is the same with the Tal'Darim, with the destruction of Amon and the revelation of his betrayal. I expect their entire society to seek out who they truly are and what they wish to be. It's a lofty goal for sure, but who knows? Kerax, the Keystone, it's reacting. To void energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terezin must be directly linked to the Void. The Tal'Darim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terezin and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terezin like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us completely. We must have faith. I prefer results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. All right, and then let's see. Um, I'd prefer to get that, but that's a long way away. So I think we're okay with this. All right. So we'll pick this up. Yep. So we'll pick this up next time as we probably go to fight Malak. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm Manic Mink. This is StarCraft 2, and we'll see you later. Take care.